Hey guys, have you ever wondered how to get this nasty, filthy dirt out of your car interior, the vinyl especially, or the plastic parts, without rubbing the, um, the color texture off or actually damaging the texture? Well, if your car is in need of a cleanup, don't worry about it anymore because I'm getting ready to show you exactly how to do it. And uh, you can do it very inexpensively and you can do it very quickly and without a whole lot of effort. It's a lot easier than scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Um, so let me show you what I got. I guess first off to get this camera kind of situated. And uh, this video is going to be strictly to help people save them some money and do their own work. And at the end of the video, we look forward to getting a subscription from you if we've earned it, as well as all the products will be listed in our Amazon on the bottom of the description. Meanwhile, the first thing you're going to need is something I love very much. It's a product made by Mothers. I think we all like Mothers. It's a VLR. It stands for Vinyl Leather and Rubber. Today its application is going to be on vinyl, the vinyl material which I just showed you. And we're also going to use a dry eraser, but we're going to use that, sorry about the cord getting in the way. We are going to use the dry eraser uh, to use it for its frictional aspects as far as being able to rub it off. But we're going to use the VLR as a protection barrier to make it quick, easy, and simple. Because uh, we want to go clean, but we don't want to go so clean that we ruin the actual surfaces on there. So there you go, VLR Mothers. And swing by and get the Mr. Clean. He looks like me or I look like him. Except maybe I'm a few pounds heavier. Ah, anyway, who's keeping up? Alright, hang on. Let me get set up where we can watch this job get done. All right, guys, here we go. So the first thing we obviously got to worry about, we see it's really caked in here. I mean, this is obviously where the hand sits, so we know we're dealing with human oil, which, you know, let's call it what it is. That can be pretty freaking nasty. Um, but it's going to happen to any car unless you're going to wear gloves and uh, make sure your hands are just clean for the first 100,000 miles, which, you know, not all cars, if they're regularly maintained, will have this, but this particular application it does so let's deal with it um, all right so we're going to start with this VLR let's be general let's be uh, let's be generous here I'm all about generosity a little generosity going now that VLR is some good stuff and what it basically does it's going to get in there and it's going to like if you let it soak for a second it's going to break that grease up and therefore it doesn't take much effort with our dry erase. So, all right, let's see. Let's start seeing what's going to happen here. We'll just take one little piece. Um, how about right here in the middle? We'll just do like the smallest little piece in the middle. Look at that, guys. You see how amazing that is? It requires almost no effort whatsoever. And that's just how it is. Um, so, we just want to put just a little bit of a little bit of pressure. I mean, this stuff is like magic. I mean, that's why I use it all the time. And you see how the the white eraser just just transfers that dirt on there with the VLR like no problem no problem at all and it absolutely will make it look brand new in seconds as you can tell there's zero damage being done um, alright so do we need to worry about the before and after, or has everybody pretty much got this? Let's give you a little better uh, look at this. I mean, I don't know, hands down, to me it's the easiest way to do anything. Just let it soak just a little bit. 
And while it's soaking, you can just kind of entertain yourself, maybe make a YouTube video to share to the world, something like that. You know, whatever makes you happy. Ah, here we go. Ah, nice. Very nice. So this video was shot in real time, so this is not like a, an hour time lapse or anything. And uh, how cool is that? You notice it's pulling the dirt on into the uh, dry erase, which is even cooler. Guys, I don't know how we complain about that. And I just keep on cruising. Of course, I'm doing a really good job because I'm actually shooting a video. You'd probably be done with it by now. Don't lie. Y'all know you ain't going to sit around and get every little piece off. But if I don't, somebody on YouTube is going to be like, Oh, the car man, he didn't take his time to do it right. So let's take our time, do it right. Make sure you're happy. Uh, guys, I tell you what, when you do this to your car, you'll, you'll start feeling like you're driving around a new car again. Like, it's pretty amazing. All right. So, that's the results. And... I can, there's nothing sticky, nothing grabby, like it did not uh, chemically change or alter the surface of this. So we're all good on this part. I mean, and you know, this, I mean, it's just as good and squeaky clean as it could be. I mean, you just couldn't ask for a better result. And guys, the thing about this is too, it will totally devalue the vehicle's value at any point that you let something be that filthy while you're selling it. I mean, the average person doesn't care. They're, they're just going to be driving it and not thinking twice about it. But, you know, if you're in the resale game, it's it's a non-optional deal. Um, all right. I think I got one more piece if you guys are interested over here on the... Let's see if I can kind of pan up here. I don't even know if y'all can see it that good. Um, eh, that's not really all that great. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do that one too. But long story short, just remember, this is what, uh, this is what your end result's going to be. I'm going to back that thing down where you can actually physically see it again. And... I don't know. We'll call it car magic for right now. Anyway, you seen it first, man. Nothing but love from the car, man. And I am going to finish cleaning this filthy car. And uh, I think I got another little video I'm going to shoot here in a few. And um, stay tuned for that one. I'll try to keep you entertained. And once again, I would really appreciate a, a subscription and a follow on Instagram. Uh, I'm actually on Facebook too, but they're just too much. I mean, they're just too commercial. Um, but anyway, alright guys, nothing but love. See ya.